On the eastern edge of New South Wales lies the Australian territory of Jervis Bay. With a population of 391 and a land area of 67.8 square kilometers, the fact that Jervis Bay is within the same classification as the Australian Capital Territory and the Northern Territory is very strange. The Jervis Bay Territory was surrendered to the Australian Federal Government by New South Wales in 1915, under the Jervis Bay Territory Acceptance Act. This was in order to provide the Australian Capital Territory with a seaport. For the time being, Jervis Bay was a disconnected part of the Australian Capital Territory. In 1989, however, the Capital Territory was given its own local politicians, leaving the Jervis Bay Territory to remain under the control of the federal government. Despite this, the laws of the Capital Territory still remain in effect in Jervis Bay, although inhabitants of Jervis Bay do not vote in Capital Territory elections. To complicate things further, the Aboriginal Land Grant Act of Jervis Bay granted four square kilometers including Wreck Bay Village, to the Aboriginal community of Jervis Bay. The power of the Aboriginal community in Jervis Bay was further heightened in 1995, when the existing Jervis Bay National Park and the Jervis Bay Botanical Gardens were granted to the Aboriginals. So that's a brief explanation of the Jervis Bay Territory. This is Morthy. Thanks for watching.